today topic is tons children in a clock there are 60 markings all around one marking means one minute and when long hand go from one mark to another it takes one minute now children remember one day is equal to 24 hours one hour is equal to 60 minutes one minute is equal to 60 seconds now i will tell you how many numbers are there in a clock there are 12 numbers in a clock today topic is time children in a clock there are 60 markings all around one marking means one minute and when long hand go from one mark to another it takes one minute now children remember one day is equal to 24 hours one hour is equal to 60 minutes one minute is equal to 60 seconds now i will tell you how many numbers are there in a clock there are 12 numbers in a clock now let's begin with the next topic quarter past now see the clock in this clock the short hand is little away from one and long hand is at 3 children when long hand is at 3 that are first quarter that means a quarter has passed and after which are quarter has passed a quarter has passed after one o'clock so we can write quarter past so we can write quarter past 1 or we can also write 1 colon 15 now children remember in quarter past when short hand is between two numbers always write the first number draw colon write the minutes show children now look at the given clock the short hand is between 10 and 11 and the long hand is at Three. Now we have learned that when the long hand is at three, that means fifteen minutes has passed, and fifteen minutes passed after ten o'clock, because short hand has not reached eleven yet. Long hand is at three. Short hand is between ten and eleven, so we will write ten first. That is quarter past ten. Now we can also write as ten corner fifteen. children see the clock and tell me the time what time is it now here you have to observe 
three things long hand and short hand long hand is at three and we all know that long hand is at three the time 15 minutes has passed short hand is between seven and eight so we will write the first number first how we will write the past quarter past seven or we can write seven colon fifteen thank you begin with the next topic quarter two quarter me quarter means 15 minutes and quarter 2 means there are still 15 minutes left for the o'clock time. Now let us see the clock. In this clock, the clock is divided into two parts. For the first half, that means after the o'clock. When the long hand cover way till 6. That means the time is in past. And the other half, when the long hand has to go from 6 to again 12, that means some minutes are there to reach o'clock. See, in this clock, the long hand is at 9. And the short hand is just little before 6. That means the time quarter to 6. That means 15 minutes are still left for 6 o'clock. Now let's see one more example. The long hand is at 9. And the short hand is between 11 and 12. But it is very close and it is just before 12. Now children, when we have to write time in number, what we will write? It is 11.45. Because after 11 o'clock, 45 minutes have passed and when we have to write in words what we will say that is quarter to quarter to 12 means 15 minutes are still left from 12 o'clock thank you